Venezuelan crude output uh, just slumping, while uh, the, the Saudi output has remained uh, on a regular a regulated basis. So uh, given that Venezuela is pretty much faltering here, does this mean that OPEC and then shale production could in fact coexist profitably given this spare capacity? Uh, well, I, I think they're coexisting uh, quite quite well right now, and I think the the spread in Brent WTI pulling away means I think that there's plenty of room for increased U.S. production to try to fill the gap, but I, I don't think it's going to be able to. How fast could the U.S. ramp up production, Dan? I mean, you're a Canary Drilling Services CEO, so you see it firsthand. Sure. Well, we're, we're working hard at Canary, but I think there's, you know, in the industry, I think there's been kind of three years of underinvestment in capital expenditures, and I think that there's also a looming uh, takeaway capacity shortage in the Permian or uh, pipeline capacity, and then I think there's also a lack of infrastructure at the port facilities for exporting. So I think we're going to hit a crude oil export uh, barrier somewhere around 3, 3.2 million barrels a day. And then I also think that the Permian is going to be restricted from growing uh, at least for the next 18 months because of the takeaway capacity. So I don't think the U.S. is going to be able to solve the problem for increased worldwide demand as well as falling production in Venezuela and then the knock-on effects of falling production in Algeria and Angola as well as Venezuela. Do you expect additional U.S. sanctions on Venezuela's oil industry this time around and what would that mean for prices? Uh, sure. Well, I think there could be, but I think the bigger story here, look, is really a year ago, Venezuelan production was 2.2 million barrels a day. Right now, the, the, the Venezuelan production is about a million four barrels a day, and that number, which is a daily production number, is falling about 100,000 barrels a month. So, you know, for instance, in June, 1.3 million barrels a day, and there's no end in sight. There's no, there's no turning point for when it's going to bottom out and stop falling because they're not investing in their offshore fields in keeping uh, the, the wells to, to continue humming and, and to continue producing. So I think Venezuela production is falling off a cliff and I don't think it's really, there's really a, a counterbalancing force uh, worldwide in terms of the production numbers right now.